In this video, we're testing the Filament Friday e-leveler tool that is supposed to make the process of bed leveling on any 3D printer as easy as possible. Welcome back to The Crossing Channel. My name is Daniel and I'm really excited that Chuck from the Chap channel sent me two of his e-level tools to test them out. Some of you might be wondering, why would I need to take care of bed leveling? Let me explain. Most 3D printers still have these thumb screws, these turning knobs, which are used to adjust the tilt of the bed surface versus the X and the Y axis. For one part, there is still a lot of 3D printers on the market that do not have an auto bed leveling probe. And for those, it's very important that the print nozzle is equally distanced in every corner of the print bed, resulting in the nozzle having the same distance in all areas of the print bed. And if your printer has an auto bed leveling probe like this printer has, you might think, why do I need to level my bed? Auto bed leveling is going to take care, right? Not exactly. The bed leveling probe is meant to be compensating inequalities in the print surface, like bumps or slopes, but it's not meant to be compensating a tilted bed. It will do this to some regard, but it's probably working differently from what you expect. Let me show you. If this is your tilted bed, and it is of course very extreme, you might think that auto bed leveling will print something that is supposed to be square, like this but it's actually trying to print it vertical, so the result might more look like the tilted tower of Pisa. So that's why we're going to level this bed now using the e-leveler tool, and how does it work? After unboxing the e-leveler and inserting the battery, I checked that pressing this button made the LED light up. Then I copied the G-code files for my printer, in this case the Ender 3, to the printer's SD card. These files are part of the zip file that I downloaded from the website that opens when you scan this QR code or you enter this address down here. Next, I started the first G-code file that's called Ender3SizeEleveler G-code. By starting, I mean printing. So you select print from the SD card and then you select this file. This starts by first doing an auto home and then it moves the nozzle to the first corner. Here I insert the e-leveler in between the nozzle and the print surface and I adjust the distance with the thumb screw until the LED just lights up. If it already lights up when inserting the e-leveler, we need to first bring the surface down a bit by tightening the thumb screw. For each corner, the G-code script pauses for about 20 seconds. Sometimes I found this to be not enough time, but you can either run this a second time or adjust the pauses for every corner in the G-code file. After doing this process in all of the corners, what I found to be better, instead of going for the test print right away, I would do a second round of leveling to get a more precise result. Now I was ready to print the test squares, and the result looks pretty much perfect. So I can confirm that this e-leveling tool does work, it's easy to use, the instructions are easy to understand. My final verdict, highly recommended. For everyone who is supporting the channel through Patreon, you will see a message from me in your inbox so you can participate in the giveaway of a Filament Friday e-leveler tool. I also put the link to the e-leveler on Amazon in the description of this video if you want to get it. I hope you liked this video, please hit the like button, if so, it's helping the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.